We're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. Voyager, in some very real sense, is, is material that's not from the medium in which it finds itself. When Voyager 1 launched in 1977, no one could have imagined that it would still be transmitting data more than 45 years later. But now, this legendary space probe has sent a disturbing signal, one that appears to have originated from an unknown star in the interstellar medium. NASA is concerned and fears for the probe's safety. Will Voyager 1 continue its epic journey and one day reach a distant star as humanity's first interstellar messenger? Or is this the beginning of the end? Voyager 1 is not just a spacecraft. It's a symbol of human ingenuity and space exploration. Hastily launched during the 1970 space race, Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 were initially tasked with studying the outer gas and ice giants of our solar system. But their mission didn't end there. To everyone's surprise, the probes journeyed even farther, beyond the solar system's outer boundaries. Today, both probes have been in interstellar space for over 12 years, delivering data from a region no spacecraft had ever reached before. The thought of losing contact with them is not just painful for NASA, it's emotional for all of humanity. Eventually, the probe's radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, will lose power, likely sometime in the 2030s. For now, they are still transmitting data across unimaginable distances, so far, in fact, that it takes over 22 hours for a single signal to travel from Voyager 1 back to Earth. But in the fall of 2023, something unexpected happened. Voyager 1 suddenly transmitted a baffling sequence of ones and zeros. The message was so cryptic it couldn't be interpreted. This wasn't the first strange report from the spacecraft either. Not long after entering the interstellar medium, the vast, mostly empty region between stars Voyager 1 detected something scientists didn't expect at all. A mysterious plasma stream. Inside the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by our sun, scientists typically observe around 100 particles per cubic centimeter. But outside, in the interstellar medium, they expected only about one particle per cubic centimeter. Voyager 1, however, measured a far higher particle density, and on one astonishing occasion, it recorded what appeared to be a full-blown plasma stream in a region where nothing like that should exist. This created immediate debate among scientists. Some suspected an instrument malfunction. Others believed something strange might be happening in the dark reaches of space. A third theory suggested that it could be a stellar flare, a stream of charged particles released by a distant star. But that explanation had a problem. Flares from our own sun don't travel beyond the edge of the heliosphere, a distance of about 100 astronomical units, or 15 billion kilometers. Even the most powerful solar particle bursts usually stop before reaching true interstellar space. In fact, Voyager's observations show that solar plasma flows halt at the boundary, where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. This boundary plays a critical role in shielding Earth and the inner solar system from harmful cosmic radiation. Without the heliosphere, life on our planet might not exist as we know it. So if this plasma truly came from another star, it had to travel an incredible distance. More than four light years, if it originated from Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our solar system. But there's a catch. Scientists believe such a journey isn't possible. The interstellar medium is too sparse. A plasma stream should lose its energy and vanish long before covering that distance. So, if the stream reached Voyager 1, it must have come from a closer unknown source, or be powered by a much stronger force than we've ever encountered. Whether it's a star, an exotic energy field, or something entirely new remains a mystery. Then came another unsettling twist. In 2021, Voyager 1 sent data so confusing that NASA feared the spacecraft had lost its orientation in space. For a moment, scientists believed the probe was spinning uncontrollably. But after weeks of investigation, they discovered the issue. Voyager's telemetry system had glitched, causing its position data to appear incorrect. Thankfully, a system reset resolved the issue, and Voyager 1 resumed its monumental voyage into the unknown. More than just a machine, Voyager 1 carries the golden record, a time capsule of music, images, and messages from Earth, a gift to any intelligent life it may one day encounter. And so it continues, alone in the darkness, 
farther from home than any human-made object has ever been, Voyager 1 remains our silent ambassador to the stars. Still listening, still transmitting, still exploring. Voyager 1's unique journey something many people don't realize is that NASA wasn't even certain Voyager 1 would make it to its first destination, Jupiter. At the time, the route it took was considered highly risky. It charted a direct course through the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, a dangerous path, while its twin, Voyager 2, took a slightly different route and used several planetary flybys for acceleration. This alternate course was seen as safer. NASA had built both probes with this risk in mind, they needed a backup in case one failed. In the 1970s, a rare alignment of the outer planets occurred, a cosmic event that happens only once every 176 years. NASA had to seize the opportunity. If everything went according to plan, at least one of the probes would reach the outer planets. As luck would have it, both probes succeeded. In March 1979, just 18 months after launch, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter. That achievement alone was historic. The probe delivered breathtaking images and unprecedented data of Jupiter's turbulent storms and swirling cloud bands. It photographed the iconic Great Red Spot and revealed the complex structure of the planet's atmosphere. Among Voyager 1's most stunning discoveries was the volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's largest moons. Though visible through Earth-based telescopes since the Middle Ages, no one had ever imagined what lay on its surface. Voyager 1 observed sulfur-spewing volcanoes erupting kilometers into space, the first direct evidence of geological activity beyond Earth. It was a groundbreaking moment in planetary science. As Voyager 1 continued its mission, Voyager 2 followed, reaching Jupiter in July 1979. It confirmed many of its twins' discoveries and revealed even more details, including observations of Jupiter's rings and a host of previously unknown moons. Together, the two probes revolutionized our understanding of the gas giant and its satellites. After the Jupiter flyby, Voyager 1 pressed on toward Saturn, arriving in November 1980. It became the first spacecraft to photograph Saturn's majestic rings up close, uncovering intricate structures within them. It also studied Saturn's atmosphere and magnetic field. One of Voyager 1's primary targets was Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan's dense, hazy atmosphere sparked speculation about its similarities to early Earth. Voyager 2 reached Saturn in August 1981, further enriching our knowledge and helping answer questions raised by its twins' earlier visit. After Saturn, the two spacecraft parted ways. Voyager 2 continued its grand tour, going on to explore Uranus and Neptune, while Voyager 1 took a different path, a journey that would eventually lead it beyond the solar system. One of the most iconic moments in Voyager 1's journey came in 1990, when it turned its camera back toward Earth and captured the famous image known as the Pale Blue Dot. From six billion kilometers away, our planet appeared as nothing more than a tiny blue speck in the darkness. And yet, that speck held everything we know, every story, every life, every memory. The image, suggested by astronomer Carl Sagan, served as a profound reminder of our planet's fragility and uniqueness in the vastness of the universe. Finally, in August 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to cross into interstellar space leaving the protective envelope of the heliosphere and entering a region where the sun's influence fades and the galaxy itself takes over. For nearly 12 years, Voyager 1 continued to send back priceless data from this uncharted region. But then, something changed. In 2021, Voyager 1 encountered a serious glitch. It began transmitting telemetry data that made no sense, suggesting it had lost orientation. Fortunately, NASA resolved the issue within a few weeks. But in the fall of 2023, Voyager 1 sent another disturbing message, a confusing stream of ones and zeros that couldn't be deciphered. A technician working with the Deep Space Network finally decoded the signal. It turned out to be a copy of the spacecraft's internal memory system, a digital logbook containing records of all onboard activity and commands. The good news? The probe was still operational. The bad news? Could no longer properly transmit data. The control system, the very heart of Voyager 1's operations, was affected. Despite NASA's best efforts, the issue remains unsolved. Engineers now fear the problem may be permanent. 
If that's the case, Voyager 1's mission may have come to an end, at least in terms of communication. The probe will continue to drift silently through the galaxy, possibly for thousands of years, eventually passing near the closest star systems. And perhaps one day someone or something will find it. Both Voyager probes carry a golden record, designed to be played by any intelligent civilization capable of doing so. These records contain the sounds of Earth, greetings in many languages, music, the laughter of children, birdsong, and the hum of life on our planet. Voyager may first no longer be able to speak to us, but it still carries our voice. Subscribe now and join us as we continue to explore the universe's greatest mysteries, one story at a time.